Hey guys, what's up? It's Gerald Sarah back at again with another video. And in this week's video, if the title of the video didn't spoil it already, my package from Jeffree Star Cosmetics has came in the mail. But it's not just any package, it is the mini controversy pack. I'm kind of shook to the fact that, you know, like, they didn't, uh, there is no of the typical, like, star imprint on the box. But honestly, who cares? So I already like, you know, zip like it opened like with like a knife. And here is Ooh, oh my god, would you would you look at that? Would you Wow. So you know, getting, you know, just the general black aesthetic wrapping out of the way. Here we have the actual special wrapping worth keeping. So here I'm opening it. Literally I waited until I was able to go on camera to be able to open it because like Anyways, now that I've opened it with ripping a part in it, um, it doesn't matter if there was a big rip here anyways, but, okay, first of all, like, maybe black, but there's still the, the, the iconic thing, which you have to start wrapping, but, oh my god, I'm sorry, I am just way too shook at this, like, I've seen the video, I know, like, the actual palette is, like, holographic, but then here you have, like, a silver mat, like, to make, like, TV static. Ooh, 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 and wait, wait. Ooh, here we have the actual True Beauty Beautiful Hollow. <gasps> oh, and you can see my phone. <laughs> All right, let's open this and see. Y'all seeing this beauty? Like, right off the bat, I can already tell I'm gonna love the shade Flat Earth because I love pastel shades. And um, this My Apology, which is like a metallic maroon shade, which you know my inner emo loves, and then this my inner hippie loves. And then these two blues, literally, they give me flashback of my hair in ninth grade and then my hair in 10th and 11th grade but the shade exposed is I'm kind of confused by it is it like a pastel muted pink or is it like a pastel purple like I can't tell now the shade cry on my couch it kind of looks like you know I guess you could say like a shade that I would use like with a tiny brush to put to like uh, on top of my concealer because it has like that translucent but not really translucent but like yellow banana like uh, powder color, which I love a multi like uh, use eyeshadow. And my boyfriend's purse, you know, I'm not really like a nude for eyeshadow. Like I don't like I'm not. Let me rephrase that. I'm not a fan of like nude shades for eyeshadows. I like to be more bold. But my boyfriend's purse would be a, a nice shade for like like let's say a regular highlighter or a brow bone highlight. But I'm going full on Jeffrey today because not only I'm about to put this on my eyes, but I'm also wearing one of his liquid lipsticks in the shade Cherry Wet. If you like the color and you want to get it yourself, that's the shade name. All right, now enough of me blabbing. Let's put this off to the side and get on with playing with this palette, which is what I've literally been waiting weeks to be able to do. So let's get on with it. Wait, sorry. I know I'm, I blab a lot. Let me just blab one more time. Um. I, the reason why I only got the mini controversy is because, well, in about like 15 minutes, everything got sold out. And I would have gotten it before it sold out if I wasn't too busy making my breakfast when it came out. Like I literally had an alarm to wake me up at 9.30 and I actually woke up at 9.30 sharp and I was shook so I was like, I'm going to make myself breakfast and um, by the time you knew it, time flied by and it was like 10.20 and I was like... I checked the website, everything was gone. And then, like an hour later, or not an hour, some time later, I checked the website again, and they had a small restock of the mini controversy palette, so I snatched this the second I could. And I've been looking all over like websites, like the Morphe website, Beauty Bay, all sorts of like um, sellers, to see if I can find like the, the whole collection, 
but everywhere is sold out. But I did a little 15-mile uh, venture out into Burbank, California, the Morphe store in uh, the LA region, and I got myself Shane Glossin. I got two, one for me and one for my friend, and we're honestly both obsessed with it. Here's also the packaging that I kept because, to be honest, I keep a lot of the packaging from like the stuff I buy from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, especially when it's like, you know, like, like lim I guess you can say limited edition items like this, or like, you know, like really interesting ones like this. Like for example, uh, with this lipstick when I got it, since it's from a like a, like some collection that's not really on his site anymore, I like to keep the boxes for like, you know, like, as like a collection, collective thing, a collector's item. Same with this lipstick, Queen Bee, which literally, I'm basically out of, and um, he hasn't stocked it in his site in the whole time, so um, Jeffrey, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, but if you are, please bring Queen Bee again. You brought Venus Flytrap back, and then you made no offense, which made my neon soul so happy, but please bring this back too to make the whole thing, like everything complete, please. Alright, so I'm going to start off the look by giving myself a little base by using the white concealer from Morphe and just dab it, you know, a little bit like that. Uh, that was actually a little bit too much, but like, and then just spread it around my eyelid. Now we're going to use some tape to line out the eyeshadow look like the true cheater I am. So now I'm going to be dipping into the shade Exposed and I'm going to be putting it like a little bit of my inner the inner corner of my eye. And the style I'm going to be doing is um, I'm basically going to create a cut crease with the pastel shades and these blue shades and then I'm going to be filling in my actual eyelids with my uh, my apology. So let's get to it and see how this shadow performs. Oh okay it is more of a pastel purple. <gasps> Okay, now I'm really happy. So I know you can't really uh, see how the purple is performing because I'm filming this on a phone. But in the end, regarding of it, like regardless of if I use all the shades or not, I will do a swatch test of all of the shades without a concealer base and with a concealer base. And I'm not going to be filming it on the front side of my phone, like camera, where it's bad quality. I'm going to be filming it on my back camera, where it's ten times better quality. Sure, for sure better than iPhone camera quality. All he intended. I found suck. Anyways, now I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Flat Earth and I'm just gonna like pack it next to. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love how this is performing. Even though I'm doing a very bad job of showing because I literally just look like I'm stabbing myself with this brush, but literally, look at how beautifully. Now I'm going to go into the shade Cancelled, right next to the shade Flat Earth. Now I'm going to be going into the shade The Simulation and put it right next to Cancelled. Oh, I'm probably going to do that with the finger because it's a metallic. So now, um, I know this is kind of a last minute plan, I didn't say I would do this, but I thought, you know, why not make it even more extra? And I'm going to dip into the shade Controversy and make like a little wing shape next to the shade Simulation or the simulation, my bad. All right, now that we got the purple kind of settled in there, now we're gonna go in with the shade My Apology and complete this eye. But before we do that, um, I'm gonna do uh, like a little cut crease like motion with, again, the Morphe concealer so I can have like a fresh base to put the eyeshadow on. Now that I've done my little cut crease thing, I'm gonna pack the, oh. How much it should and just ooh, okay, hold on. Let's just oh, it's not really showing that much. I should probably use my fingers, but so that's what it looks like. Uh, you can't, it looks kind of blotchy and nasty because of my camera quality, but in real life, but I feel like this just in itself maybe for others it's very bold but for me it's still very you know I guess you could say simple I'm just gonna go add a pop of glitter liner like in between like my like these two uh, shades and we'll be back all right so I added the glitter liner you can't really tell because again 
iPhone camera quality. I iPhone. Phone camera quality, just in general. Um, so I'm going to go do the same to this eye, and we will be back to show the full reveal of the look. So this is the final look. I added on, you know, I did the same thing on my other eye. And last minute, I decided to add the, the, in the shade my boyfriend's purse into the inner corner of my eyes. Um, and as a, what's it called, brow bone, uh, bra eyebrow highlight. I forget what it's called. Brow bone highlight. Who cares? Now time to add some of the, the gloss to complete the look. So now I added the gloss and this is the complete look. Honestly, this is my first time ever buying a Jeffree Star palette. And honestly, I'm not disappointed. Especially like um, the shade Flat Earth has like an interesting shade. And, like, all of the shades have, like, an interesting shade, too. I don't know if this is maybe just the shade of all of his pigments, uh, all of Jeffree's pigments. But, like, it smells interesting. I'm trying to remember what this smell reminds me of. But, it's at the tip of my tongue, but I'm not exactly getting it right now. Let's just say childhood. You know, that's, that's the, the first thing that comes to mind with this, the smell of these colors. Or the smell of these shadows. But other than that, literally, the performance was, like, I did not expect for this palette or these colors to work so smoothly with the one brush I use all the time. Because, here's the thing, a lot of beauty gurus will tell you to, like, I like, use this, I'm using this brush for this and then using that brush for that. To be honest, I've realized over the time of me collecting brushes using different brushes, I don't need a thousand brushes for a look. All I need is just one brush, which is this. And it, it literally does everything for me. Except for when, like, you know, I'm doing, like, a... Like, trying to blend it out. Then I use this brush. But honestly, these two brushes are the only brushes I use. But it's not disgusting, trust me. Every time, after every look, I brush... I clean these brushes so I'm not just like you know from an old eyeshadow palette like from yesterday I'm dipping into this, like a different one going no, I clean it so anyway so now it's the part of the video where I show you the swatches of these colors with a concealer base and without a concealer base this hand is gonna be with a concealer base and then this hand is gonna be without so this is what with a concealer base also with my phone's camera flash like can't like on but I just realized it looks garbage with flash so here's how it looks normally honestly I'm not gonna even bother showing um, swatches without a concealer base because who at this point doesn't use a base for their eyeshadows so yeah that's what they look like and honestly love it anyways um so about this palette I Honestly, I would honestly suggest it because I just like it a lot. And if you want to try out, like, you know, be a little bit more crazy with colors but also still have some of your neutrals, the um, actual, like, what's it called? The Conspiracy Palette. Wow, I'm going to crack right now. The Conspiracy Palette is also a good palette that I would suggest. But as for this and the lip gloss, I love it. So, yeah, that'll... Um, do it for this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content you see, then subscribe because I'm always going to be making some sort of different makeup video. And I don't know how this helps or not, but turn on the uh, bell icon for to get notifications for when I upload because I'm actually starting to do that more frequently now. So you don't want to miss an upload. Also. I'm trying to reach a goal by the end of this year or by the end of next year, hopefully by the end of this year, that would be great. I need to have at least 4,000 hours in watch time and at least 1,000 subscribers to be just reviewed to become a YouTube creator and have my videos be monetized and actually make money out of what I do here. So if you could share this video to other people so they can see it or go watch my other videos and if you have already watched my other videos, go watch them again 
to give me more of that watched hours like those that would be great and that is it i will see you guys next week bye what oh I'm just obsessing over the hollow that's it you know